If you are selling a product and your sales are going down, it's, you know, it's really easy to figure out why. And it's about understanding the data. There's so much data uh, that's out there. So how do you actually know what data is important and what's not important? There's an art in taking all of the knowledge, all of the number crunching and machine learning and just data algorithms that are running behind the scenes at Seller Labs. There's an art in presenting that in a digestible, elegant user interface that the customers, that our sellers on Amazon, that they experience. And that's one of the biggest challenges that, that Amazon businesses have, I think, is that you're getting all this data, you can read it, you can see like, here's my traffic, and here's, here's the keyword performance, but what do I do with it? There's only so much data a human can look at, at any single day, over any single week or month, and looking at trends. We really need machines and software solutions to help us recognize trends. Getting in, understanding your traffic, understanding your conversion, understanding you know, where your traffic is coming from and why. Um, Amazon makes it a little difficult. They don't necessarily give you all of the data, but they are definitely giving you more. And they're giving you enough to figure out the direction that you need to be going. A lot of data with inside of Amazon is decentralized, meaning that you get a piece of data here and a piece of data here and a piece of data here. But for you to actually analyze your business correctly, you need to be able to pull all those different data points together. And so within Ignite, what we've tried to do is create a system that different people can use in different ways. There's lots of different methodologies. To, to one person, one click is important. To another person, it needs to be 10 clicks. So how do you filter that data so you can make decisions based on the methodologies that you're trying to follow? A lot of times the brand's mindset is, oh, it's on Amazon, so we can't really do anything. Well, it is on Amazon, but it's more important than your own website in many regards because of how much volume you can do through it. And so it's really important for the, for the brands to be getting into that space and really being hands-on. Really, it's all about taking the domain expertise that we have acquired over the past five years and applying it and continuing to apply it through our products. The successful sellers are the ones who take the methodologies that are out there and the technologies that are out there and find new ways to use it. And if you're able to do that, you're able to put extra time, energy, and effort into your business, you're able to take your business to the next level. The traffic that's going to Amazon is probably more than what you're getting on your website. So it, why wouldn't you be optimizing your listings and getting your brand positioned appropriately to the highest uh, traffic generator? Let's take the customer feedback and make it a better product. From a data perspective and a machine learning perspective, and the, the knowledge that we are pouring into our tools at Seller Labs, Really, all of that is meant to meet that customer expectation for the sellers. And so what's happening is it's becoming very complex to be successful on Amazon. And so it's moved, I think, from a space of being a generalist to you absolutely have to have a specialist. One other area of that is interpreting the data. Understanding you know, where your ASIN is at the life cycle of it. Is, it. is it in your torso part of your catalog, meaning it's in that 70%? Is it in the head selection in that you know, top 20%? Is it going up? Is it going down? What do you do? What are the levers that you pull to drive the right outputs? And those, it should all start with, with analyzing your data. Our goal is to deliver software solutions that can help alleviate the stress, can give them access to information in real time, in timely manners or reliable manners so that they have the information that you need on the screen to make the decisions that are right for your business on that day. Seller Labs from its beginning in 2013 has always been about being accessible to sellers. We want to be where you are, we want to be listening to what you have to say, and we want to be taking that and putting it back into practice with the tools and technologies that we provide.